Welcome back to the Chell Sweets Kitchen. Today I'm going to walk you guys through a test wedding cake that I made that has all the features of what I'm looking for in my wedding dress. So I made each tier a special flavor for both me and Steven, and the largest bottom tier was made with a double chocolate frosting and a chocolate ganache. So I piped a thick ring of frosting around the perimeter to keep the dark frosting contained, and then I added a chocolate ganache drizzle over the top of that. I repeated that with my second layer, and each of these tiers is made with three layers of my favorite vanilla layer cake. Once the layers were stacked, I added on a thin crumb coat and chilled the cake in the freezer for about five minutes until it was firm to the touch. I then added a very thick second layer of frosting just to make sure that I got the sides really straight and level. I then used my bench scraper to make sure the sides were nice and smooth, and I inserted four dowels into this base tier to make sure that it can support the weight of the tiers that are going to go on top of it. The second tier is a cookie butter flavored tier, so I filled the center with some cookie butter frosting and of course added a very generous drizzle of cookie butter on top of that. I repeated this process with both of my layers and then followed the same steps that I did with my bottom tier. We haven't finalized the flavors that we want to pick for each tier yet, but this one is definitely a top contender. The top tier is a salted caramel tier, so it's filled with a salted caramel frosting, a drizzle of caramel, and a sprinkle of sea salt. This tier is tiny, these are 4 inch cake layers. Um, I made this cake pretty small just because it is a test cake, so the tiers are 8 inch, 6 inch, and 4 inch. So I wanted to decorate this cake with everything that I'm looking for in my wedding dress. So of course I had to make some edible lace. Both the mold that I'm using and the powder that I used to make the edible lace I got on Amazon, and the links to both are included in the video description below. So I followed the instructions to a T, and I really made sure that the lace mixture was wedged into every bit of my mold, and then baked them at 250 degrees for about 16 minutes. Once the lace is fully baked, be sure to let it cool for at least two hours. This will make it so much easier to remove from the mold. Initially, I didn't do that, and I ended up ripping all of my lace, so be sure that you're patient and let it cool fully. So the box of edible lace that I got came with two packages. I made one, which ended up making four sheets of lace. At the end of the day, you really only need one, because your top tier only uses half of one, and your bottom tier uses about one and a half. Because I made my layers in advance, my frosting had crusted on the layers, so I added a thin strip of buttercream to help make sure the lace stayed in place. If you want to see a full tutorial on how to stack a tiered cake, click the link in the upper right corner. If you have any space between your tiers once they're stacked, or if your cardboard rounds are showing at the base of your tiers, you can always pipe a border around them to cover that up. In addition to lace, I wanted some floral accents, so I had to add on some fresh flowers to this cake. And then came the really fun part, actually trying on dresses. So I ended up going to Bridal Garden NYC, which is located in Flatiron, and I had the best time. I tried on a ton of different dresses, and I wanted something that was a little bit different. So there are a few different colors and cuts here. Since we're getting married in Central Park in the summer, I really wanted a short dress or something that I was comfortable in, and I ended up finding the perfect dress. So I'm not going to share it with you guys because I want it to be a big surprise on our wedding day, but I had a great experience at Bridal Garden NYC and we were able to celebrate once I found it. I also had a little celebration in my kitchen once I finished the cake, and I wanted to cut in to show you guys all the different tiers that we made. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to click the like and subscribe buttons below. Also, if you have any questions about wedding cakes, my wedding, or Bridal Garden NYC, feel free to leave them in the comment section below.